It's been a couple of days since the zombie apocalypse happened and the two friends, Akira and Kencho, managed to find a safe haven on top of a building in Tokyo. Akira is playing Left 4 Dead 2 and Kencho is doing some cooking mama level cooking. This is part of Akira's bucket list and he checks off camping from his list. Kencho finishes cooking and Akira praises his friend for his excellent skills in the kitchen. Akira doesn't think he has any redeeming qualities. He doesn't have Gordon Ramsay level cooking nor does he have infinite riz unlike Kencho. Kencho calls him an idiot for not being able to get a date and tells him that a man needs to know how to cook. Akira is insulted and swears he is definitely going to get a date today, but they look down and there are not many options for him. Most of the single women are undead cannibals. Later that morning, Kencho reads Akira's bucket list. He tells Akira that some of Akira's ideas seem unrealistic, like whining and dining with a flight attendant. But Akira says that after quitting his job, he realized many things. He doesn't want to limit himself anymore. Kencho decides to add something he wants to do as well, adding another line to the growing bucket list. He wants to be a stand-up comic, something he dreamt of as a kid. Kencho tells Akira that since Akira saved him, they are in this together, so they will share the list. Akira is touched and tells him they should get a huge flat-screen TV. At noon, the two friends go to Ikebukuro to buy a big-screen TV. However, the road is blocked by rubble and destroyed cars. Suddenly, a zombie drives an oil truck toward them. Kencho asks Akira what they should do, and Akira drives directly towards the truck. Kencho freaks out, but Akira uses a ramp to jump over the truck and go underground. Kencho can't believe it, but this place is also crawling with zombies. Akira points to a garage and says they might find a TV in there. They slide under the door and slam it shut. But when they turn, there is a group of people. One of the girls asks Kencho if they are infected. He tells her they are not infected and that he is happy there are other survivors. There are three beautiful girls and one terrified salaryman. One of the girls gets alcohol and food for everyone, and they sit down together. The girls introduce themselves as Reika, Maki and Yukari, and the two friends suddenly realise that this seems like a wine and dine. Kencho stays calm and asks if they are co-workers. Reika says they were flight attendants and the duo can't believe it. They're definitely whining and dining airline attendants and can check this off their bucket list. The zombies make a lot of noise and the girls are terrified. But Akira is worried about how to wine and dine. Mr. Public Nudity manages to bag Maki rather easily. But Akira blows it and asks Yukari if she has a boyfriend. A pretty bad question in the middle of the apocalypse. Yukari isn't happy about this so Akira decides they should have some fun. He grabs a bottle of tequila and snorts the entire thing. The group joins in and has some fun. But the effects suddenly hit Akira and he vomits inside the cubicle. Yukari comes to help him and Akira is touched. She tells him that she has a boyfriend. But Akira is happy because she was genuinely worried for him. After getting sober, Yukari talks with Akira about her life as a flight attendant. She's in her third year in her career and she relates to Akira's hardships. Yukari says she doesn't know if it's worth it to continue working for something that doesn't feel like a dream job. It seems she forgot it's the zombie apocalypse. After hearing her story, Akari tells Yukari about his experience in his company. He tells her his job was just like a borrowed dream. He wasn't sure if it was his dream job at all. Akira tells Yukari that if it's her dream job, she doesn't need to think too much about what other people think. Yukari is touched. But before she can speak, the salaryman from earlier lunges toward her, biting and infecting her. Akira punches the zombie, but it's too late. She tells Akira that it's okay and explains that he reminded her why she loves her job. Helping him out reminded her of the flight attendant who rubbed her back during her first time on a plane. Akira can only cry, and states that he hopes to find his dream job too. She pushes Akira away, telling him today was fun, before the zombie lunges toward her, killing her off-screen. Akira hurries back to meet up with his friend, but both Maki and Reika have turned into zombies. The boys have no choice but to bail with the 8K ultra-wide UHD TV Kencho found. With two items checked off their list, Akira and Kencho drive back to their campsite. At dusk, Akira reminisces about Kencho and Yukari's dreams earlier. He writes down another thing he wants to do before he becomes a zombie, to remember his childhood dream. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Zoom 100. If you want to find out what happens next, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Panorama Anime, and comment for the next episode.